My first stop in Turkey was to Cappadocia, home of the most iconic tourist activity in Turkey and one of the most in the world. Flying with more than a hundred hot air balloons over the uniquely shaped landscape and ancient carved rock towns. There are many modern towns around with hotels, but the main place to be is Gorma. The buildings are often literally integrated with the ancient structures created by people thousands of years ago. Every hotel has the word cave in their name though, regardless of whether they actually do this, so if you really want to stay in one, do your research. Uh, I was in a lovely place called the Guzida Cave Hotel. Okay, for the record, I just woke up, 3.45 a.m., uh, going to do the Sunrise Hot Air Balloon Ride, and I hope it's awesome because, man, is it early. <laughs> the balloon baskets fit anywhere from single digits to over 20 passengers, depending on who you go with. Mine was actually on the smaller side. Uh, part of the experience is that you're basically going out in the morning with the whole population of the town out before dawn in these giant caravans of both vans of people and trailers with balloons. You can't steer once you're flying, so they pick takeoff and landing points differently every day based on the weather, and the result is that they just drive right off the side of the road and unfold their stuff at seemingly random spots, not to mention landing in people's backyards and fields and stuff. Uh, it's also not guaranteed that they can fly at all. Uh, it's a call made by the government each morning, and for example, it was canceled two days in a row before I got there, so spots were a hot commodity. My friends know I like fire. It cracks me up looking back at the size of my grin standing next to the giant flamethrower. You absolutely feel the heat coming off that when it's on. While they can't steer, they can go up and down, uh, and part of the 45 minute ride includes kind of dipping up and down to see the sights, whether that's in the town, a valley, a cliff, etc.
to show off, the pilot tries to land right on the trailer of the truck. Uh, they're in communication with the chase team the whole time, and the truck actually meets you there. I was impressed he can actually pull that off in a vehicle that he can't steer. Okay. I'm impressed. <laughs> Once you land, they have a little ceremony thing with drinks and, of course, tips and selling the photos that they take. I was particularly entertained watching the other balloons come in and try to land around us. The whole activity is such a unique thing. I rode in one myself the first day, but my second morning plan was to actually go out and watch from the ground. So, what we've got here, almost certainly my best drone footage ever, because this is freaking awesome. I think this might be more impressive from the ground than it was from the balloon yesterday. To be down here with all of it, it's gorgeous. I hope you can see. I hope you can see. It's 5 a.m. by the way, ish. proposal I've seen so far while I'm here. It's 
pretty good for any place to do it, I have to say.